Hello everyone, this is Nam Plus Hunter for Hang Guys. Today we're gonna to be reading Psalm 21 and Psalm 22 from the new version version, also in the NIV version. If you guys wanna go ahead and read along, you guys can go to go ahead and go to classabobgatewe.com or you guys can go to go ahead and read my one. I don't care how you guys wanna do it, but let's get started. Psalm 21 for the, the director of music of Psalm of David, the king rejoices in your strength, Lord. How great is the joy in the victories you give. You have granted him his heart's desire, and not without the request of his lips. You came to greet him with rich blessings. Place your crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him. Length of days, forever and ever. Though the victories you gave, his glory is great. And through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. So that the king trusts in the Lord. Though the un through the unfailing love of the Most High, he'll not be shaken. Your hand will lay hold on all your enemies. Your right hand will seize your foes. When you appear for battle, you'll burn them up as in a blazing furnace. The Lord will swallow them up in its, his wrath, and his fire will consume them. He will destroy their, their descendants from the earth, their posterity from mankind, though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes. They cannot succeed. You will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with drawn bow. Be exalted in your strength, Lord. We will sing and praise your might. Psalm 22, New Russian Version, NIV Version, for the director of music to the tune of Dido of the Morning, a Psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One, you are the one Israel praises. <clears throat> and you are our ancestor, put their trust, they trusted, and you delivered them. So you they cried out and were saved, and, and you they trusted and and we're not put to shame. But I am a worm, not a man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Yet you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust in you, even at my mother's breast. From birth I was cast on you, from my mother's womb, give to my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one at home. Many bulls surround me, strong bulls of Bashan encircle me, roaring lions that tear their prey over their mouth, mouths wide against me. I am, I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is turned to wax, it is melted within me. My mouth is dried up like a pot shirt, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death, dogs surround me, a pack of villains encircles me, they pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. But you, Lord, do not be far from me. You are my strength. Come quickly to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life, from the power of the dogs. Rescue me from the mouth of the lion. Save me from the horns of the wild oxen. I'll declare your name to my people in the assembly. I'll praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel, for he has not despised or scorned. The suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. From you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you, I will fulfill my vows. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord will praise him. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord, and, and all the families of the nations will bow down before him. For your dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will kneel before him, those who cannot keep themselves alive. Posterity will serve him, future generations will be told about the Lord. They will proclaim his righteousness and declare to a people yet unborn. He has done it. Okay guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to click the like button, make sure to, sure to click the bell to be notified. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.